All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Chico. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. where this fight takes place. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. A oh, little single collar tie there. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. You can't take too many of those big elbows. Big head kick lands. Nice punch by Lee. And they separate. Hands high, hands high. Unable to connect with the right hook. Lee gets caught, and it was a big elbow there. 
landed that knee to the midsection. I don't think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take him in the other. Beautiful kick. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Great punch landed with so much power. Elbow. Side kick is true. Elbow now blocked by Lee. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime you check the chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Big ball was land. Now he gets back to range. Oh man, this is one thing you you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast. Sometimes you don't see it coming. He is all about that left kick to the body. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Lands and he's hurt. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh, what a punch. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Whip his hip into that kick. Nice one, two there. So there it is, Tyler Fighter landing a knee to the body. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Big kick lands. Head kick. 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Nice punch lands over the top. on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Try to establish that jab. Hands high, hands high. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. A big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? Tie. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. All right, he is in a single collar tie. Muay Thai plump. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Man, he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Got him down to his knee earlier in the fight with a liver shot. He knows he's hurt there, and he'll continue to target that area. Good strategy. Oh, that's a nice strike. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. That knee might have landed there. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, they'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat of getting taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. Oh, nice series of knees by him there. He throws those pretty quickly, champ. They're fast, they're quick, he's driving them into the body, into the head. He's really good with it. That knee might have landed there. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you gotta be getting out of those positions where he's kneeing you. You gotta be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect your body. You gotta just really, truly be working the entire time you guys are in close. Oh, single collar tie here. Big punch lands through the middle. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Collar tie. What a body kick. 20 seconds left. Big kick land. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. All right, round three coming up next. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter 
start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, nice lead of the head forward there. Right idea, wrong execution. The left punch misses. Nice kick. Lee's kick, that one blocked. Single collar tie now. Big body kick landing. Nice strike. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Massive head kick. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Nice head kick. Nice punch land. Back and forth we go. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Superman punch, not always easy to execute. He did so there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and throw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take effect the longer this fight goes. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Get out of there! Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing a beautiful punch. Really's got his opponent on notice here. Big and kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Yep. <laughs> oh, huge head kick. Did that one appear to stun him? Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Good punch, Lance. Trying to double up on that jab. Block that kick to the body. Throwing that jab, no good. A oh, little single collar tie there. And they separate. Oh, nice. Nice. The right hand just misses. Nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Another shot lands upstairs. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Look 
at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And he landed the right hand there. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC talking us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Lee gets caught with that punch. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Just a slip there. Over and over, he's landing these big body punches. Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Lee gets in the clinch yet again. Oh, huge block! Slips the punch. He loaded up on that right hand, too. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Caught that kick there. All right, single collar tie now. Beautiful strike. He's in close, so instead of punching, he's landing his nasty, vicious elbows. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Oh, collar tie. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Under three minutes remain in round four. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Time his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Nice straight punch. And they separate. Defense. And that one certainly found the target. Big kick land. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Oh, big knee! Time. Ooh, diving punch lands. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh, single collar tie here. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking point. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him. He's really messed with the game plan. Oh, blocks that kick to the body, nicely done. hip into that leg kick. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Just unable to quite find that range. Sliver kick. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish. 
finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Oh! He's out! Tower, oh my goodness! What a performance! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knock. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of round number four. Defending the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.